Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is part nine of the Operation Overlord series, which is actually making the base for the diorama. This is a uh, very important part of the Operation Overlord diorama, so let's go ahead and start building this part right now. I want to talk to you about the foam board I'm going to use for my base. What I'm pointing at is a high quality foam board called Formular, made by Owens Corning. And this particular foam board I like because it's very dense. Because of its density, it uh, holds its shape better when I actually make um, indentations and holes for the boat to set in. It's time for me to make a hole in the foam board. What you see right here is the foam board itself, and what you see right here is the model boat, the hull of the model boat. And the boat is supposed to be sunk inside the foam board to make it look realistic as if it was in water. What I've done was I drew an outline of the boat onto the foam board, and now I'm going to use my hobby knife to start making the hull. I'm making the hole for the explosion. It's time for me to make the beach. What you see right here is tile grout in the powder form, which I actually added water to make uh, this consistency of tile grout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply spread that all over half the base to make the beach. I'm going to smooth out the beach. What you see right here is a container of water and I'm going to use my hands and simply uh, spread the entire tile grout to make it smooth. Now I'm going to add the obstacles and figures. I'm going to make some footprints and some um, drag marks. What I have in my hand is an ordinary brush and I'm going to use the blunt end of it to make footprints on the sand like so. And then with the brush part I'm going to make the drag. I'm 
Okay, so everything is all set. I put all the figures, all the obstacles, and made the footprints, the drag marks. Everything's all set in place. So what I need to do now is to let it all dry out. Alright, so time has passed and the ground material has dried. It looks very good and so now it's time for me to do the next part of my groundwork. I'm going to make some wet clothes. I switched over to my better airbrush and I'm going to tint areas of each figure's clothing where it had contact with water and tint it with a color of dark brown to simulate wet clothing. It's time for me to paint the base. I'm going to paint this section of the base um, a darker color of the beach and this is going to represent um, the beach uh, that has water um, over it from the waves and right over here later on I'm going to paint this part with the color of the water. Alright, so we completed um, the diorama as far as we can get it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire project that we have completed so far for today, from the beginning to the end. Take a look. Okay, so this is um, the finished product for at least this particular video, and it does look pretty nice. The groundwork that I made looks very convincing. It really goes beyond my expectations. Um, it does look like real sand. And of course adding the figures um, does make it look like a real scene from the D-Day invasion. Uh, painting the water and the um, lower parts of the beach that's going to be covered with water is going to be uh, very convincing once I put on the uh, clear silic uh, silicone caulk later on on my next video. So um, I'm pretty much completed um, for the Operation Overlord series. So my next video, with all luck, is going to be my last video for Operation Overlord. This has been a very um, challenging model project and I hope you stay tuned for that. And of course I always want you to um, just really just to build your own model kits because that's the reason why I'm building these, uh, making these videos, just to encourage you to build your own model kits. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching.